In this video, I'm going to be outlining how to use MemberPress's offline gateway. This gateway is a great option if you want to give your users a way to sign up online for your memberships and then pay you offline with cash or check, for example. To get started, you're going to need to navigate to your MemberPress, Options, and then Payments tab. Once here, scroll down as needed and click the plus option here. Then, using this drop down, select Offline Payment as your gateway option. Then, give your gateway a name. In this case, I want to give my users an option to pay via cash or check. So I'm going to name my gateway Cash or Check. If you're interested in knowing what these settings do, please see the detailed list of gateway settings section below this video. Now, if you want to force users to wait to gain access to your site's protected content until after you have formally received payment, like if you are waiting for a check to be mailed, then you want to be sure to check the Admin Must Manually Complete Transactions setting here. If you want users to gain access immediately after completing the registration process, regardless of official payment status, then leave this unchecked. It will automatically mark their subscriptions as active and their transaction as complete, meaning paid. This applies to both one-time and automatically recurring subscription types. Just note that if you do this, anyone can sign up and get access to all of that membership's protected content without paying you if you aren't carefully monitoring your users and payments. Finally, the last option that you see here is the description section. You can use this text box to enter in any relevant information for your users to complete the sign-up process. For example, let's say I want to provide my customers with my mailing address. Well, I would enter that here like so. Please note that if you were to use this setting, you have to have the Show Payment Description option here enabled. Otherwise, this will not show on your registration form. Additionally, if you would like to provide further instructions for your users, you can use our MEPR Offline Instructions shortcode on your thank you page or custom thank you page message. In this case, I'll show you how to add it to your custom thank you page message. To start, I'll go to my membership. Then, scroll down to the membership options and check the enable custom thank you page message. And then, I'll enter that here like so. Just note that it's mepper-offline-instructions space gateway underscore ID equals and then quote marks. Inside these quotes I'm going to place the ID of my gateway that I just created which can be found here in the payments tab of your options. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that in like so and then you can enter in any text after the short code that you'd like to appear, like this. With this pasted in there, I'm ready to add the end short code to complete the, the code here. The way that you do that is by simply entering the same offline instructions part only you're going to want to put a forward slash there and of close close the bracket. With that, this statement is ready to go. I just need to click update on this um, on my membership to have that show correctly. With that overview of the gateway, you should be all set to enable this gateway so your users can start paying you offline. Just be sure to click the update options button at the bottom of this page. However, if you're going to be enabling the admin must manually complete transaction setting, then keep watching because I'd like to show you how to go about marking those payments as complete when you get them. So I'll start by enabling that option for this gateway and then updating those options again to make sure that that setting is saved. Next, I want to add a quick message on my thank you page just so that my members understand that they're not going to get access to my protected content until after I receive payment from them. So I'm just going to add this quick note like so and then click update. With all that set, I'm ready to test this out. To do so, I'm going to open my site in an incognito window and then fill out the information here. With that information enabled, I'm going to go ahead and select the cash or check option here. 
it tells me to please mail in my payment and then I'm going to click sign up. Review the payment to make sure that it looks all, all good and then I'll click submit. And as you can see here I was sent to that thank you page message where these additional instructions that I added are showing up there correctly. Now let me go back into my admin and show you what you will see when these subscriptions come through. By going to the subscriptions tab I see a subscription with an ID that looks like this. It's not active because I haven't marked the payment as complete and currently it shows up as having zero transactions. Now when I click on this transaction here I'm shown that there is a transaction but that it's just pending. What I need to do to mark it as paid is come here to the status column click on pending and then select complete and then save. Doing that will mark the subscription as active which you'll be able to see if I go back to the subscriptions page and you can see that this is now active. Just remember that every single month I'm going to have to come in here to update the next transaction as complete for this user. In this case February 28th of 2018. If you only have a one-time payment non-recurring type subscription then you don't need to worry about it month to month or every billing cycle just when the user signs up. That's it. With that the user will immediately have access to the content associated with this membership in my rules.